Hey what is up guys, Tava here, and today I'm going to be reviewing these insane LED light panels that are incredibly thin, lightweight, bright, remote controlled, and are the perfect option for low budget filmmakers. So I've been using these light panels for a couple of days now and they far exceeded my expectations for the price. Personally, as a film production major in college, I've gotten to use a lot of different low budget LED light panels. For the most part, I'm kind of disappointed on the price and how they perform. So usually they're like $400 to $600, which is still considered low budget for some reason. And they still feel very cheap and plasticky and like they could break. And they're also kind of big and heavy despite being LED light panels. So I'm usually pretty disappointed with them, but this kit has completely blown me away. So these light panels are $220, and that might seem expensive to some people, but when you compare it to other light panels, this is actually incredibly cheap. And you also have to think about how this kit comes with two light panels, so they're really only $110 each. So $110 for a light panel is a really great deal, especially when you see how they perform. But let's start from the beginning. When you receive this item from Amazon, inside the box you're going to find an amazing carrying case that can hold literally everything you're going to need for these lights. And I mean everything. It can hold the two light panels, the two light stands, the two light chargers, as well as the remote with room left over. And the carrying case has dividers laid into it so you can specifically put the lights into one area and the chargers in a different area so they have their own location and this also keeps them safe in transport because there's pretty good padding so they don't get bumped around or damaged. This case makes transporting and storing the lights a much smoother experience. But now let's talk about the light panels, which are obviously the main selling point of this product. So like I said, some of the LED light panels I've used in the past are actually pretty thick in size, but these light panels are incredibly thin, like really, really thin. But despite what you'd think by hearing this, they don't feel cheap or flimsy at all. They actually feel quite sturdy and well made. On the back of the light, there's a small LCD that will tell you everything you need to know about the light. So like the brightness, color temperature, what mode and setting it's on, everything you need to know is right there on that little screen. And below that are some buttons where you can change the different channel frequencies on the light as well as some different modes. Below those little buttons to the right on the light is a little knob that you will be able to adjust that can change the brightness of the light from 0 to 100%. And this is a great thing that a lot of lights don't have. This light has 100 different brightness variations, so you can really dial in the brightness that you want and it adds a lot more accuracy to the lighting of a scene. And that little knob makes it very easy to dial in the brightness that you want for your light. And if you click the button in the middle of the knob, it allows you to adjust the color temperature of these lights, and they go all the way from 3000 to 5800 Kelvin, which is a great range of different color temperatures to really dial in that look that you want. So to the left of the knob is a power switch, which you can turn to the left for plugged in power using the included cord that it comes with, or if you have batteries, you can turn it to the right. Unfortunately, the batteries aren't included, but the light works off many NPF series batteries. So that gives you options if you wanna power it remotely. The ability to use batteries is a great feature that many cheaper LED light panels don't actually have. This means if you're shooting a film like in the middle of a forest, you're not gonna need to bring a generator to power your lights. You can power them completely remotely just using batteries, which is a great feature. And because the light panels are LED and only use 45 watts of power at their brightest setting, that means you're not gonna be using a lot of power, so batteries will actually last you quite a long time. Also on the back of the light panels are some air vents, but again, because these lights are LED and 45 watt, they don't really get that hot, so they don't really need to vent off that much, which is a great thing for things not catching on fire as well as getting your talons hot. If we look at the front of the light panel, you can see it has a 15.4 inch white panel filled with lots and lots of tiny little LED lights. Many other LED light panels have much bigger LED lights that make the light look a lot harsher on subjects, but because this has so many little lights, it makes it look a lot softer and more diffused, which is a great look for flooding light in different situations. This light also gets really bright, up to 1300 lux at one meter away, which is super cool. For the quality and price, these lights are also super lightweight, which makes them perfect for transporting and bringing to remote locations. Each light panel weighs two and a quarter pounds and each light stand weighs about two and a half pounds, which are very convenient and impressive numbers. Yet another selling point for this light is the remote control features. The remote control has a little LCD and can do basically everything that the back of the light controls can do. It can adjust the brightness, color temperatures, frequencies, and modes. It's a super nice thing to be able to change settings from a distance. Also, both of the lights are wirelessly connected. This means if you change the color or brightness on one of the lights, it automatically syncs and controls the other light. It's very nice because it means you don't have to walk across an entire room to change one setting on a light, but it also makes it harder to have independent light. 
lights. You can pretty easily change the channel or modes on one of the lights so they don't sync up, but it's not as smooth as it could be. For $220, this light kit has basically everything you're going to need to get started with lighting. You can use one light as a key light, the other as a fill light, and that's basically all you're going to need. So as a beginning low budget filmmaker, YouTuber, content creator, whatever, I would highly recommend you get these lights and use them in all of your projects. There are just a lot of positive things going for these lights and really not many negatives at all. If you want to purchase these lights, I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below. But anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.